Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm back from the dead. Why do I say that? Well, the reason I say that is because it's true in a way. Um, I've been in a slump. I had some videos I really wanted to plan out and um, kind of put it off and put it off some more and then put it off because I was putting it off and then putting it off because I had already put it off so much. Not only have I been in a slump video-wise, I've been in a slump health-wise. Now, why do I say that? I've gained a little weight and uh, I've done this a couple times. Growing up, you know, through high school, actually growing up, I was usually the bigger kid up through middle school and then getting the high school puberty hit. So when puberty hit, I would, you know, I basically weighed the same I did in middle school, but then I grew into my body and basically chilled out around 190, 200. Now, I had gone through one big weight gain, probably about 30 pounds, leveled me up about 225. And um, I buckled down. I watched what I ate. I worked out more, worked out more deliberately, I would say. After this, you know, being more deliberate about what I ate, being more deliberate with my workouts, I dropped down to my normal 190, 200 range. Now, this lasted for a while, and then I went into personal training, and personal trained for a while, and did a competition. I competed in my first physique competition, and probably got back down to around um, 180, 185. I'm a 5'11 right now. Well, <laughs> I've always been 5'11, but I am 5'11. So I did one competition, and after that competition, um, got complacent again. And over the next months after that, um, gained a lot of weight back. And the only way I dropped that weight was I did another competition about a year and a couple months later. Cut it back down. And again, once again, this happened. I flowed back into complacency. So, where am I at now? Well, complacency is hit again. And the reason I know that is because I weighed myself recently. And I've, I've fluctuated up around the 215, 220, you know, 217 range which is abnormal for me because um, it's not the weight I want to be at. Now, I do have, you know, a bit of muscle, but, you know, I feel like that's just an excuse I'm telling myself. It's like, oh, I have a lot of muscle. You know, it's cool. That's where I'm supposed to be at. But now I'm up in the 220 range, and that's my red zone. That's, that's what spurred me to get this camera out, get this mic out, put a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> and film this video because I realized when I really cracked down it was when I challenged myself and I, I I had to have a goal to do this weight you know to get my weight down to where it was and it's not only getting my weight down it's just um, honing my mind into concentrated um, you know honing it down to a specific goal so what is this goal what is this goal? Well, I have to say this goal is a quest to 190. Um, so right now it's about 30 pounds. Now how do you get down to, how do you, well, you know, I personal trained for a long time, for a couple years, not a long time. Now how do you get down to 130? How do you trim off 30 pounds? Well, there's many ways to do it. Um, there's exercise. You know, there's if you if you don't exercise at all, you just start exercising, you're gonna see some weight change, which is good. And now the second way to do it, you could probably do it purely without exercise, but your diet. Now my diet has been 
you know, I've traveled a lot lately, so that could be part of it. You know, traveling adds a lot of um, inflammation to the body. A lot of food you eat add inflammation. But basically what I'm saying is I need to hone down food. And I need to concentrate because my normal days are actually kind of... There's a lot of uh, temptation in the form of food. When I concentrate at night, when I think about my next day, I find it's very easy to um, plan the next day. Be like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to do everything I say I'm going to do. I'm going to do everything right. And this motivation usually trickles down in the morning. You know, still motivated. But as the day goes on, as my willpower gauge trickles into lunch, you know, I think halfway through the day, I start looking ahead to lunch, and um, I tend to splurge lately. And I notice that, and I can feel that, and I don't like that. What this challenge is going to help me do is really um, keep my diet in check, workouts, there's never been a problem with workouts. I, I love working out, so that's something I just do as enjoyment, and I happen to reap the benefits of that. This is going to help keep uh, that mindset, keep me focused, keep me focused on that diet. And um, I know I'm bouncing around a lot right now, but this is a spur-of-the-moment video. Um, I didn't plan this out. I planned this in my head about five minutes ago. This is my uh, 190 challenge, 190 challenge, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. My future videos are going to kind of, you know, I know what I have planned, but this video now is getting a little long, so I'm going to make another video about what I'm actually going to do and what I do in this challenge to help me reach my goal. But anyway, thank you for watching. It's good to be back. I know I keep saying that after a video, but you know it is good to be back. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell icon down there so that you're notified when I post new video, and uh, social media links below, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching again, and I will see you in the next one.